Meringue are easy to make, inexpensive, and are used in a great variety of desserts. Uh, you can beat your eggs, of course, by hand, but here, with the help of the machine, it makes it easier. And what you do, you have one cup of sugar pear for egg whites. This takes a couple of minutes to go. I put my sugar very fast in it and I don't really beat it long after the sugar. The longer you beat it with the sugar, the more elastic your meringue will be, more like marshmallow, and you can keep it longer. However, when you cook it, it will be kind of elastic a little bit, like a marshmallow, which some people like. This one where the sugar is added very fast and just incorporated into 30, 40 seconds, the meringue is going to be very brittle and very soft, which I like. So we use a pastry bag here. Those are wonderful now, those in in plastic, which are not reusable. You can fold it this way. And here, I'm putting the, the tip in there. It should fit right here. If you don't want it to run when it's something more liquid, twist the end of the tip and push it inside so that nothing can come out of it. You want to fold the border so you don't get it all dirty all over, and then you can fill it up, of course. Now the technique here is going to be the same than when you do, you know, cream puff dough, for example, choux éclair saint honoré So it's a way of using the bag. When you have it this way, you fold it like an accordion. Then you put it there and you will press with that part of the hand and direct with that part of the hand here. So there is all kind of shape that you can do. And then you turn it as you go along. So if you want the long one, the classic one is going to be long, you stop pushing, you stop and you bring back up. You know, again. On the other hand, sometimes you want like a teardrop so you don't move the end of the back, you apply pressure and then you pull out. More this way. Uh, Sometimes you just want to have a small meringue. This way, to do one thing or another. One thing that you should know is that when you use the pastry bag, here, for example, I basically touch, when I want to do a strip, a wrong thing like a Saint Honoré or whatever, then you keep you know, the pastry bag away so that you can direct the shape that you have, if I were to touch the bottom of it, then I will have problem. This is a tuit d'amour, we call, you know, a love nest, that you fill up a meringue like this. Sometimes you put another strip on top. You can do it this way to get that type of shape. And you can also and then use the fluted edge here to use it this way. Now you want to put a bit of powdered sugar on top of it. That give it a nice glaze. And then I cook my meringue around 250 degrees. I start and then I stop and lower it at 230 in those area after like an hour and a half, two hours. It takes two, three hours to bake. It is. And here it is ready to go into the oven. And here is cooked meringue. As you can see, this is slightly beige in color, and I like it beige in color. I don't like it when it's totally white. Some people want it white, you have to cook it at lower temperature. You can see that this is very dry if I break it. It breaks and very crunchy. Not marshmallow like at all. An old classic dessert.
This is Alumec Marine.